Pep Talk UK, Pro Bees once again from London to the USA. I'm delighted to be joined by Christopher Lovejoy. How are you, man? I'm blessed, man. I'm good. You know, I was on my bike ride. Uh, you know, I got the news. I was coming to my workout. So, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still pushing. What's going on? Bro, all good here, man. I, I need to ask you, actually, before we talk about Dave Allen's retirement, what did you make of the fight last night, Kel Brook and Terence Crawford? It went exactly how I called it to go, uh, just a little sooner. I predicted Terence Crawford would win by stoppage. I said late stoppage. I was thinking eighth and ninth round stoppage. Uh, that's what I was going for. That's what I was thinking it was going to happen. Uh, he got him out of there sooner. Uh, you know, uh, Terence Crawford, you know, he's like, he's in my top two, uh, pound for pound. So some people number one pound for pound. <laughs> he definitely up there at the great. So, you know, shout out to him and uh, shout out to Kel Brook putting up a nice fight. Mm. There was a lot of talk before the fight that he had fought no one of significant note at 147. Do you think he's made that statement now to the non-believers? He definitely made that statement, especially when it was a, a, a stoppage of a very, very good opponent. And I actually, called, I actually, thought, I actually told everybody that it was going to be a very hard fight. But once Terrence Crawford figured him out, he was going to stop him. So definitely made a statement. Mm. When you say he's made a statement, a lot of people are looking at now, you know, him against the likes of Errol Spence Jr. in the mega fight. I mean, exactly how would he get on against Spence Jr. in your, in your eyes? Uh, man, I, I don't know Spence personally. Uh, that's my boy. But that's a hard fight, man. I mean, you got two different styles. Styles make fights. I mean, I don't know how that would go. I, I think that'd be like a trilogy fight, like a draw the first one, then like a, a funny decision the second one, and the trilogy. Like they both at the top. Mm. But he's got to get past Danny Garcia first. And again, it's question marks, you know, about him coming back from the accident. I think he'd be fine. You know, he, he didn't take no tune-up, you know. His next fight is a top 10, top five guy. So I think he'd be all right just by taking that fight. You know, I, I thought if, if, if he probably wanted to get a tune-up, then maybe you would question, like, his, you know, his recovery. Mm. You'll say, well, damn, well, maybe he's trying to see where he's at mentally, physically. I think he know he back. And by him taking that fight, you know, that's, that's, that says it all right there. Who is... Uh... The main the main man at 147 for you right now. Is it is, is it Deffy Crawford for you? It is Deffy Crawford. Wow, okay. All right. So Chris, I need to ask you about the announcement of Dave Allen. Obviously, look, you lot were meant to fight, it didn't happen. Don King didn't allow it to happen. You're now able to fight and do what you want. Now, what's the ongoing situation? Uh with me. Yeah. Or him. Can you, well, are me, you free to do what you want now? To have the fight I'm officially in? free. As of yesterday, I'm officially free. I'll make an announcement tomorrow because I got to meet up with some people. I got a few deals on the table, but uh, I'll make an announcement tomorrow. I'm officially free. So that's my situation. You know, uh, well, I thought I was free two weeks ago, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm just in the same position, you know, with some, everything happened for a reason. I'm kind of glad all that stuff is out the way now. I'm glad it happened for a big title fight. <laughs> or a big person, something like that, you know, something I could easily replace. Yeah. You and Canelo are both free at the same time. It's a few people free at the same time. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Hey, I know you saw, did you see the, the picture online of Canelo being free and uh, him signing to Death Row Records and he was standing beside beside Shook Knight? Did you see that picture? No, nah, I didn't see that one. I didn't uh, see that one. I'm, I'm going to send that to you, man. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, send it to me. I didn't see it. Yeah. Hey, back to Dave Allen, though. What do you make of his announcement of retirement, of retiring? Well, you know, you, you, you got to be respectful and humble. At the same time, I got to stand for mine. So what I'm going to say is this. I'm going to do the humble part first. <laughs> when someone retires, you know, uh, he had a decent career. I'm happy for him. I'm happy he retired on his own two feet, meaning that 
he didn't get an injury or a bad loss or something happened to him before he retired, as far as we know. Um, so that's that's good. You know, the other side of it, you know, he was talking a lot of smack, you know, saying he was in the best shape of his career. You know, so from my eyes, I'm thinking he thought he was going to get an easy win, you know, based on my record on paper. And, you know, when that fight didn't happen, you know, he, I think he thought that we were going to fight this weekend. I just, I just couldn't make it to the bubble on Saturday. I had to be there seven days. I isolate. So, you know, I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea. I don't know why he would do that. When he says he's the best shape of his career, he's going to stop me in one round, you know, and all this other stuff. But you retire a week later. It's not adding up. But it may be something else that we don't know about. You know, he could be mentally going through something. You know, he could be just not how to drive no more. He could be injured. You know, he could have problems outside the ring. Who knows, you know? But, you know, regardless of the fact, man, I thank him for giving me the opportunity. Uh, very, very gracious to that. You know, and uh, I wish we could have fought. You know, a lot of fans wish we could have fought, whether they like me or hate me. I know they wish we could have fought. I wish him the best, man. Uh, he's still young. You know, he might see me go knock somebody out and say, man, I, I can beat that dude. You know, he might think he can still beat me. So he might come back. But I've heard he retired twice before. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, he, he has, he has, he has, but again, I think maybe the right fight and the right fight could be Christopher Lovejoy. What do you can UK fans want to see? Yeah. yeah that's what they get, want to see. That's done. what we all want to see. We want to see here too. You know, a lot of people want to just see me period. You know what I'm saying? And you know, a lot of people want to see me fight him You know, I want to fight him. So, but like I said, he's retired now, uh, you know, congratulations to his career and uh, we're going to keep pushing. Do you in any way feel a bit responsible towards that decision in terms of, you know, him not being able to, to fight you to um, get out there and earn some money or, or losing money, as he said he did also as well? Well, I, if he retired because of me, I would feel responsible. But if his retirement doesn't have nothing to do with me, I can't feel responsible. I mean, so what I'm saying is that you know, if he, if he felt like he could beat me, you know, fight me. If he feel like he can't beat me, then that'll play a role in his retirement plan. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what the, the, the real reason is. I know he stepped down, and it is what it is. You know, we might not never get an answer. You know, I'm still here, though. You know, this just proves that who was really there to fight, who was there to pick up a check, you know, who was there just to be there. I'm still here. I didn't say I retired. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. We all got injuries. We all got personal problems. We all got things outside the, the boxing ring. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still here. So, you know, I, I I don't know. A lot of negativity thinking that, you know, I didn't want to fight. I'm still here to fight. He's the one not fighting. You know, he didn't he didn't get an injury. You know what I'm saying? Whatever he got going on didn't come from the ring. You know what I'm saying? He was prepared to fight two weeks ago. Now he's not prepared to fight. I don't know, man. Is there anybody else? over in these shores that you might have your eye on instead now? Uh, in the future, Joshua, I'm going to come out there. I'm going to go to his gym and get some sparring in with him, help him out his camp. But it's the thing, man. Once I spar these guys, they don't want to fight me. That's why I try and stay out of guys' camps. You know what I mean? So, uh, but I should be out there next month, you know. I'll be at his gym. And... I really can't turn down no sparring from Joshua because he's the best right now. So I really can't say I'm going to come out there and not get the opportunity to join his camp. But, uh, well, he's fighting soon. So, yeah, I don't even know if we'll be sparring because when I get there, he'll be at fight week. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, interesting. I just, thought about, I just thought about that. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, as far as everybody else, I mean, anybody can get it, man, you know. My passport ready free agent, man. I'm undefeated. You know, I'm pulling up on short notice, long notice, whatever notice, whoever notice, whoever show. No network restrictions, you know, no nothing. Uh, no weight limit, you know what I'm saying? No, no steroids, no suspensions, no nothing. I'm ready to go, man. Mm -hmm. Lastly, how did Don King take your request to leave the contract? How did he take that? We well, took it cool. Uh, we talked, and my people talked to him and talked to his people, and it was just a mutual agreement. We, and it, it was already kind of like a done situation, you know. I don't know why he stepped in and stopped that, even though we were already done. 
regardless of the fact, uh, it's no bad blood between us. You know, you know, maybe maybe if you get something going on in the future, we could do something. What's up, bro? What's up? So maybe we could do something in the future. Who knows? But it was just, it, it was just time for it to be over with. Hmm. All right, man. I better let you get back to the beach, man. Give us a shot at the beach, man, before you leave, man. Wow, Venice yeah, Beach man. on the west yeah, side, man. Yeah, we out here, man. You know, right, man. A, couple people, a couple people out there. You gonna throw it that west side before you out? <laughs> yeah, I know, man. All right, man. <laughs> Thanks for your time, man. Christopher Lovejoy, Pep Talk UK. Make sure you subscribe. Thank All you. All right, bro. Thank you. Respect.